Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if you get an error message. The default gateway is not available in your Windows. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved, not to fix this issue. The first step, what I would suggest is to restart your router and PC. So power cycle your router and restart your computer to refresh network connection. Once you restart your computer and check if you are able to connect to the internet. Now, in case if you are able to fix this issue, you don't need to try the next step. Now the second step you could try to get this issue resolved is to run the network troubleshooter. To do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings you will have to go ahead and click on windows update. Now here on the right hand side you will have to go ahead and look for advanced option. Under advanced option you would see an option for recovery. Click on recovery. And then you will see an option for fix problems without resetting your PC. Click on it. Here you will have to locate for other troubleshooter and click on other troubleshooter. Under other troubleshooter, you would see couple of options here. And you will have to go ahead and locate for network and internet troubleshooter. It would be either on most frequent or on other. Either ways, you will have to go ahead and click on run. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions what you're seeing on the screen. What this will do is... This will try to diagnose the problem by itself and try to identify if there are any issues related to the network. Once that is done, you may close this window, restart your computer and check if you are able to connect to the internet. In case if you are able to connect to the internet, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next step is to go ahead and reset the TCP IP stack on the computer. To do this, you will have to open command prompt. So in the search window, you may go ahead and type CMD. You will see the best match for the command prompt. You can do a right click on the command prompt and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now, Once you are on the command prompt, you will have to go ahead and type the command to for windsock reset. You can copy and paste the command in the command prompt window from the video description. All you have to do is control V or do a right click and hit enter. Wait until this command is executed. Now to complete this command execution, you will have to go ahead and restart your computer to complete the windsock reset. Now before you restart the computer, you can also try to reset the IP and the command is mentioned in the video description. You can copy and paste it here and hit enter. Wait until the command execution is complete and you would see an option which says restart the computer to complete this action. Close this window, restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next method to resolve this issue is to change the power management settings. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on device manager. Once you have the device manager open, you will have to locate for network adapters. Choose the default network adapter. So in my case, since I'm connected to the wireless, I'm using the current Qualcomm as a default network adapter. It could be Intel or anything in your case. So you will have to do a right click and then click on properties. Once you are on the properties, you will have to go ahead and click on power management. And you here, you will have to go ahead and uncheck the option which says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. You will have to uncheck the option. Click on OK. Restart your computer and check if you are able to connect to the internet. In case if you are able to connect to the internet, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next method is to go ahead and disable or re-enable your network adapter settings. To do this, you will have to open the run window. You can do a right click and then click on run. In the run window, you can go ahead and type ncpa.cpl and click on OK. So this should open the network connection or network properties window. Here, you will have to do a right click and then click on disable and then do a right click again and then click on enable. So that would go ahead and reset your network adapter setting. Once this is done, you may go ahead and try to connect to the internet and see if you are able to fix this issue. Now, in spite of trying all this step and if you are still facing a problem, the next method is to go ahead manually configure the gateway settings. To do this, you will have to open the adapter settings. So all you have to do is you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you will have to go ahead and type the command ncpa.cpl and then click on OK. And here, once you have the command, you will have to choose your default type of connection. So here it is. In my case, I'm connected to the wireless network. 
So all you have to do is you will have to do a right click and then click on properties. Once you're on the properties, you will have to go and select the internet protocol version and then click on properties. Once you have the internet protocol version properties, you will have to choose the option which says use the following DNS server. Now here you will have to go ahead and type the DNS 8.8. .8 8.8 and here you will have to choose the DNS DS 8.8.8.4 and then click on OK. Once you click on OK then click on OK again and then try to restart your computer and close this window and then try to connect to the internet and see if your issue has been resolved. Now all the steps should definitely resolve this issue. Now in spite of all this step if you're still facing a problem I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.